Hello everyone. Here's a quick post about a new tool that I've added to the UV toolkit. I call it Copy Symmetric UVs. It's a way that allows you to uh, copy the UVs across a, an axis, like the x-axis. And you might want to do this to save texture space. So let's say you uh, start with your model here and you do an unwrap. Let's do the regular unwrap and you see how uh, I have all the seams set up. So our model is divided into uh, nice little pieces here. And this is what you'll get by default when you do the unwrap. And uh, let's give that a bit more of a margin. All right. Now you'll see that you have a lot of duplication here. You have uh, this group of faces here is uh, the mirror image of this group of faces here. The top of the wing here is just the same as this one. And uh, this leg is just like that leg. And yeah, there's, there's a lot of doubling up. There's some bits that are not doubled up like uh, on the face here. But for everything else, you can actually uh, use your texture a lot more efficiently if you can uh, map these things onto each other. Now, the way you would usually do that is, uh, let's see, let's say we have the two wing segments. What you would normally do is come in here and grab your lasso tool and then uh, make sure snap mode is on and vertex and then what you can do is rotate that around and then scale it and let's whoops let's rotate that again there we go and then maneuver that on top and it's very tedious and error prone and this one seems to have worked but it doesn't always uh, work out quite as nicely as that so uh, this tool does away with all that so let's uh, unwrap our model again so uh, what we can do instead is first uh, select all the faces that we want to have a mirror so I'm going to first of all exclude these the, these parts of the model here on the face that I don't want mirrored and then I'm going to press Control I to select all the other other faces. And now, if I press Copy Symmetric UVs and wait for it to finish, uh, you can now see that that wing that was over here is now copied on top here. The left side of the body is now on the right side of the body, and all the other bits of the model that have a perfect mirror image have been uh, placed on top of each other. So if we come over here, press the L key, and then move that around. Oh, let's uh, turn off snapping mode. So you can see they're perfectly on top of each other. And uh, and the, uh, the bits that we left out, those are still independent. So, and uh, the way it works is, uh, so you can choose which axis you want to mirror it across. Uh, by default, it's X, which is what it's most likely going to be. Uh, and uh, the Epsilon is a way of um, saying how close the, uh, the vertices can be uh, spatially. So for this face, it's going to look for the identical face on the other side of the model where the vertices match and are off by no more than the epsilon value. And you can see the epsilon value by default is 0 0.001, which is a fairly small value. And um, yeah, it's going to copy from these. If uh, you only select one half of the model, uh, it'll still work. Here, let's unwrap that again. So if I only had this bit selected and I ran the tool, then you can see that it automatically copied the selected side to the unselected side. And there is where the wing was, and uh, there is there they are on top of each other. Oh. All right, so if you only want to copy some of your uh, model, then you can uh, do it that way too. All right, uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, check out the UV tools. This is a, a set of tools that are all about making your UV editing better. Uh, there is the UV brush, the UV plane project, triplanar map. There's another video which explains all of these. I'll post a link to it. And yeah, I hope you find this useful.